Abstract syntax notation 1 is a standard notation that describes rules and structures for representing, encoding, transmitting, and decoding data in telecommunications and computer networking. The formal rules enable representation of objects that are independent of machine-specific encoding techniques. Formal notation makes it possible to automate the task of validating whether a specific instance of data representation abides by the specifications. In other words, software tools can be used for the validation. ASN1 is a joint standard of the International Organization for Standardization, International Electrotechnical Commission, and International Telecommunication Union Telecommunication Standardization Sector ITUT, originally defined in 1984 as part of CCITTX 409-1984. ASN1 moved to its own standard, X208, in 1988 due to wide applicability. The substantially revised 1995 version is covered by the X680 series. The latest available version is dated 2008, and is backward compatible with the 1995 version. ASN1 in transfer, data generated at various sources of observation may need to be transmitted to other locations before it can be processed. For example, a radio telescope in outer space might produce voluminous signal data that it cannot process locally. The system recording the data and the system processing it later may be very different in nature, and may even be produced by different vendors. A consistent mechanism is needed to record, transmit, and read data across diverse systems. ASN1 defines the abstract syntax of information but does not restrict the way the information is encoded. Various ASN1 encoding rules provide the transfer syntax of the data values whose abstract syntax is described in ASN1. The standard ASN1 encoding rules include, basic encoding rules, canonical encoding rules, distinguished encoding rules, XML encoding rules, canonical XML encoding rules, extended XML encoding rules, packed encoding rules, generic string encoding rules, ASN1 together with specific ASN1 encoding rules facilitates the exchange of structured data especially between application programs over networks by describing data structures in a way that is independent of machine architecture and implementation language. Application layer protocols such as X400 electronic mail X500 and Lightweight Directory Access Protocol Directory Services, H323, Kerberos, BACnet and Simple Network Management Protocol use ASN1 to describe the protocol data units they exchange. It is also extensively used in the access and non-access strata of the Universal Mobile Telecommunications System. There are many other application domains of ASN1. A particularly useful new application of ASN1 is Fast InfoSet. Fast InfoSet is an international standard that specifies a binary encoding format for the XML information set as an alternative to the XML document format. It aims to provide more efficient serialization than the text-based XML format. Example: Data structures of Foo protocol defined using the ASN1 notation. Foo protocol definitions equals begin. Foo question equals sequence, tracking number integer, question IA5 string. Foo answer equals sequence, question number integer, answer boolean. END. This could be a specification published by creators of Foo protocol. ASN1 does not define conversation flows. This is up to the textual description of the protocol. Assuming a message that complies with the Foo protocol and that will be sent to the receiving party, this particular message is My question Foo question equals tracking number 5 question anybody there? To send the above message through the network one needs to encode it to a string of bits. ASN1 defines various algorithms to accomplish the task, called encoding rules. There are plenty of them. One of the simplest is distinguished encoding rules. The FOO protocol specification should explicitly name one set of encoding rules to use, so that users of the FOO protocol know which one they should use. Equals example encoded in DER equals, below is the data structure shown above encoded in DER format. 30 a euro type tag indicating sequence, 
13 a euro length in octets a value that follows, 02 a euro type tag indicating integer, 01 a euro length in octets a value that follows, 05 a euro value, 16 a euro type tag indicating IA5 string, IA5 means the full 7 bit ISO 646 set, including variants, but is generally US ASCII. 0 EA Euro length in octets a value that follows, 41 6 E 79 62 6 F 64 79 20 74 68 65 72 65 3 F A Euro value. Note, DEA uses a pattern of type length value triplets, and uses well-known byte constants for encoding type tags, so what one actually gets is the string of 21 octets. 30 13 0 2 f The scope of ASN1 and DER ends here. It is possible to transmit the encoded message to the party by any means or any other protocol. The party should be able to decode the octets back using DER. Equals example encoded in XER equals Alternatively, it is possible to encode the same ASN1 data structure with XML encoding rules to achieve greater human readability over the wire. It would then appear like the following 108 octets, which includes the spaces used for indentation. 5. Anybody there? Equals example encoded in PER equals. Alternatively, if packed encoding rules are employed, the following 122 bits will be produced. 01050EATHREBBSA2DF93CAOE9A32F2CRFCO. In this format, type tags for required elements are not encoded, so it cannot be parsed without knowing the expected schemas used to encode. Additionally, the bytes for the value of the IA5 string are packed using 7 bit units instead of 8 bit units, because the encoder knows that IA5 string byte values only require 7 bits to encode each of them. However the length bytes are still encoded here, even for the first integer tag 01. Note also that the last 6 bits in the encoded PER are padded with null bits in the 6 least significant bits of the last byte CO, these extra bits may not be transmitted or used for encoding something else if this sequence is inserted as a part of a longer unaligned PER sequence. This means that unaligned PER data is essentially an ordered stream of bits, and not an ordered stream of bytes like with aligned PER, and that it will be a bit more complex to decode by software on usual processors because it will require additional contextual bit shifting and masking and not direct byte addressing. However modern processors and signal processors include hardware support for fast internal decoding of bit streams with automatic handling of computing units that are crossing the boundaries of addressable storage units. If alignment on octet boundaries was required, an aligned PER encoder would produce 01050E416E7962 6F647920746865726765 3F in this case, each octet is padded individually with null bits on their unused most significant bits. ASN1 versus other data structure definition schemes, since it is commonly used for defining messages for communication protocols, ASN1, with its associated encoding rules, results in a binary encoding. Other communication protocols, such as Internet protocols HTTP and SMTP, Define messages using text tags and values, sometimes based on the augmented Bacchus Now form notation. The definition also defines the encoding, which is in text. There has been much debate over the two approaches, and both have their merits. The ASN1 approach is believed to be more efficient, and with packed encoding rules, certainly provides a more compact encoding. The text dual approach is claimed to be easier to implement and easier to debug with only a text editor. In the case of the Magarco protocol, consensus between the two points of view was not reached and so two encodings, one based on ASN1 and one on ABNF, were defined. The ASN1 XML encoding rules attempts to bridge the gap by providing a textual encoding of data structures defined using ASN1 notation. Generic string encoding rules were also defined for the sole purpose of presenting and inputting data to from a user. 
Encoding control notation. The encoding control notation is a notation to specify specific encodings of ASN1 types. ECN is useful to describe legacy protocols in ASN1. It is possible to specify only the encoding of some types and then complete with the standard encoding rules. ASN1 Information Object Class Information Object Classes is a concept used in ASN1 to address specification needs similar to the ones addressed by CORBA IDL specifications. Using ASN1 in practice, one may use an ASN compiler which takes as input an ASN1 specification and generates computer code for an equivalent representation of the data structures. This computer code, together with supplied runtime libraries, can then convert encoded data structures to and from the computer language representation. Alternatively, one can manually write encoding and decoding routines. Standards, standards describing the ASN1 notation. ITUT REC X680 ISO IEC 8824-1 ITUT REC X681 ISO IEC 8824-2 ITUT REC X682 ISO IEC 8824-3 ITUT REC X683 ISO IEC 8824-4 Standards describing the ASN1 encoding rules ITUT REC X690 ISO IEC 8825-1 ITUT REC X691 ISO IEC 8825-2 ITUT REC X692 ISO IEC 8825-3 ITUT REC X693 ISO IEC 8825-4 ITUT REC X694 ISO IEC 8825-5, ITUT REC. X695 ISO IEC 8825-6, ITUT REC. X696 ISO IEC 8825-7, RFC 3641. See also, Comparison of Data Serialization Formats, CSN1, TTCN, TTCN3. Extensible Binary Meter Language Notes References A free book about ASN1 from Olivier Dubuisson, a free book about ASN1 from John Larmouth, this article is based on material taken from the free online dictionary of computing prior to November 1, 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL, version 1.3 or later. External links ITUT website Introduction to ASN1, Standards Describing the ASN1 Notation, the ASN1 Consortium, ASN1 Tutorial Tutorial on Basic ASN1 Concepts, Online ASN1 Tutorial Free Online Tutorial on ASN1, A Layman's Guide to a Subset of ASN1, BER, and DER A Very Good Introduction for Beginners, Elang ASN1 Application Elang Compile Time and Runtime Support for ASN1, TLVE, a common TLV parser. TLVE can parse ASN1 BER encoded data, IVMA ASN ASN1 XDR tools, PYASN1 ASN1 types and codecs for Python, Binary Notes open source ASN1 framework for Java and Microsoft.NET framework, JASN1 Java ASN1 BER encoding decoding library at openmuc.org, LGPL licensed. ASN1 SCC in open source, dual license ASN1 compiler for C, C++ NADA. Online ASN1 decoder A free online tool that allows decoding ASN1 encoded messages into XML output. Online ASN1 syntax checker and encoder decoder A free tool that checks the syntax of an ASN1 schema and encodes decodes messages. Online ASN1 encoder decoder of 3GPP messages A free tool that encodes decodes ASN1 3GPP messages and allows easy editing of these messages, ASN1 CA free and open source ASN1 compiler, CCLIB, ASN1 parser.